To end the summer with a bang, we're going to welcome the new autumn season with some Starbucks. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be trying a bunch of the new fall menu items from Starbucks while answering some fall autumn related questions. Before we get started, if you're new here, hello, my name is Amy. Thank you so much for watching this video. I make a lot of self-care and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. So if that sounds like your thing, please go ahead and subscribe and follow me on Instagram to see my day to day. I post a lot of behind the scenes stuff there. So I would love it if you would check it out. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. We're gonna head over to Starbucks. I am so excited because I haven't had Starbucks in a really long time. I haven't also driven in a really long time, so I'm kind of nervous about that. We will see how it goes. I'm gonna start driving. I guess I'll see you guys when I get there. Can I get the pumpkin spice latte? Yes, and then the pumpkin cream cold brew. Um, can I also get the pumpkin scone and a pumpkin uh, cream cheese muffin? No, that's it. Amy? Okay, sounds great. Thank you. You too. I don't know why that was so nerve-wracking. <laughs> I feel so awkward. I haven't ordered like that in a really long time. That crow is... Uh... Wow, intense. Okay, got the goods. I'm gonna drive back home and then I will see you guys there. Okay, I just got back from Starbucks and I'm going to show you guys exactly what I got because there are three drinks and I got two pastry related items. This is the pumpkin cream cold brew and let me just let you guys know a very unpopular, I guess, opinion or preference. I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin. I'm not a huge fan of pumpkin flavored stuff either, so <laughs> it's funny that this whole lineup is pretty much all pumpkin, but you know, I wanted to try it and get on the bandwagon. This is the cold brew and it's very creamy and foamy up at the top and it looks like there's a little bit of a um, cinnamon, but that's pretty much what it looks like. It looks really delicious, but I'm just not sure how I'm gonna like it because it does smell like pumpkin. <laughs> This one is the first hot drink and it doesn't even say what it is. So uh, let's see. This is the salt caramel mocha and it's a hot version of it. I already know I love this. This is my go-to Starbucks drink when the fall comes around because I just love mochas and having the saltiness in conjunction is just amazing. It's a dream come true. And the last one we have, out of the drinks is the pumpkin latte. It's just pumpkin latte. I am honestly not sure if I've ever tried a pumpkin spice latte because I knew that I don't like pumpkin, so I just avoided it. But I guess today's the day that I will try my very first pumpkin spice latte. It's a very big day. In terms of pastries, I got the pumpkin muffin and I got it warmed, but I'm pretty sure it's cold now and the pumpkin scone, which I'm really excited about because I do love scones. And to spice things up a little bit more, I thought that I would read off some this or that fall edition questions because I've been wanting to do this on my channel to welcome the fall season. I have some Pinterest posts that I saved that has a bunch of like really fun fall related questions. I will be doing that while trying all these goodies out. It'll be fun because then you guys get to know a little bit more about me too. And I know a lot of you guys like my more chattier vlog videos, which I always thought that people didn't like because I'm quite everywhere and I talk a lot. So this is the video for you guys if you like those types of videos. I'm gonna first try this 
cold brew and then I'm probably going to give this off to Charlie because he likes cold brews a lot more than I do. Cheers. Mm. Wow, it's really messy. Ooh. Mmm. This is actually really good. Surprisingly, really good. It does taste like pumpkin, but it's very subtle still. Wow. I really like this. I'm impressed, but I will go be a good fiance and give this to Charlie. Okay, I'm back and Charlie approves of the cream cold brew as well. It is really good actually. I'm, and I'm not even a huge fan of pumpkin, so that says a lot. I really liked how the pumpkin was very subtle though. I already know I like this. This is the salted caramel mocha. Ugh, this is my jam. Let me answer some fall related questions because I feel like I'm just gonna be drinking and not saying anything in this video if I don't. Oh, wow. That's a little bit different from the past year, I feel like. Um, it's a lot sweeter, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it does taste kind of like hot cocoa. I mean, it's still good, but I wish it was like a little less sweet because I'm not like a huge sweets person, especially when it comes to chocolate. Another popular, uh, another unpopular opinion. Please don't attack me in the comments. <laughs> I'm gonna start with this fall favorites, this or that questionnaire or survey, I guess. Basically how this works is it says this or that, like this or that, and you have to choose one or the other and you can't choose both. It's a very, very simple uh, task. <laughs> the first one is Uggs or booties? I have to say booties because I only wear Uggs when I'm on a time crunch and I'm just running errands. There's just so much more potential in making your outfit look good with booties than with Uggs. So I'm gonna go with booties. I think there are very comfortable booties that you can purchase and it'll serve the same purpose as Uggs, but they're not Uggs. Next one is horror movie or romantic comedy. I actually really enjoy watching horror films. <laughs> I'm a little weirdo. I really love sci-fi films and horror movies and I thoroughly enjoy criminal shows. Like Criminal Minds is the best show that's ever existed. And I finished all the seasons that are on Netflix. I don't know where to find the subsequent seasons. So let me know in the comments if you guys know, but I love that show so much. I love anything scary because it doesn't really scare me that much anymore. Wow, that was really aggressive. I don't know, it's different. It depends on the film or the type of horror it is because there are so many different genres I feel within the horror categories. I get more scared when it comes to like spiritual stuff. I'm not as scared when it comes to like gory or I don't really like watching gory films, but it's not gonna like keep me from sleeping at night. The type of movies that keep me up at night are those like really creepy, spiritual and like um, psychological films. Those are the ones that get me really thinking and then it lingers in my mental state, so. <laughs> but I do really enjoy horror films, especially the ones that really get you thinking. I'm gonna try a different drink because that salted caramel latte is a little too sweet for me right now. <laughs> this is the pumpkin spice latte. We'll see if I like this because I think the whole world likes it. Okay, cheers. Not bad. I like the fact that it's not as sweet as the salted caramel latte, but the thing that I don't like about pumpkin, or at least pumpkin spice lattes, are that they always have this very interesting fragrant aftertaste. It's almost floral. Like it tastes like perfume to me in a weird way. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just scratch all of that. I like it. It's fine. We're moving on. <laughs> gingerbread latte or a spiked cider? To be honest, I really haven't tried a gingerbread latte, but I am guessing it tastes the same as like a cinnamon latte. 
I'm not a huge fan of both, but I think I would rather go with a spiced cider, or not spiced, spiked cider. I have no idea what this means. Ranunculus? Is that a flower or a plant or something? I'm not sure what that is. Or sunflower. So since I don't know what ranunculus is, I'm gonna go with sunflower. And I do love sunflowers, they're super gorgeous. Black Friday shopping or shopping online? I think you guys already know this, but 150% shopping online. I hate, I hate Black Friday shopping with a passion. I think because I've worked in retail, I used to work at Sephora, as you guys probably already know. I really don't like being in the retail environment if I don't have to be there. <laughs> Therefore, shopping online is kind of the best way to go. I don't need to be anywhere. I could be in bed, in my pajamas, not have to deal with rude people and bad customer service. I'm not saying that all retail places are like that, but I would just rather limit my energy spent shopping in person and it also really depends on what I'm trying to buy. I guess if it's something like furniture or a really expensive purchase, then of course I would rather do it in person so I can feel the material, smell it, examine it, study it, whatever I need to do before I make the purchase. If it's something that I can get online that I don't have to be too picky about, like toiletries or everyday stuff, essentials i would rather just get them on amazon or online shop for sure jump in leaves or take the boomerang i really like the idea of jumping in leaves because it just sounds really romantic but i gotta be honest with myself i am such a prissy when it comes to bugs or getting dirty or messy and i just would rather not I'd rather watch someone else do it and then like Instagram it. <laughs> I will live vicariously through you. I will say take the boomerang because I do like being active. I would definitely choose that over getting dirty in leaves or potentially getting bit by a bug that lives underneath the leaves. <laughs> the last this or that on this specific post is campfire or fire screen. Campfire. Of course, even I'm not very outdoorsy, I love real fire. I just, uh, it, there's just something about having an open fire outside in the crisp weather. It's just so cozy and comforting. I love it. It's just such a vibe. I love it so much. So campfire all the way. All right, that was the first this or that post. Let me try a pastry and then we will get back to the questions. I will try the pumpkin muffin. I think this is the one with cream cheese in the middle. Not a huge fan of cream cheese either. This is such a fail of a video. This looks really cute though. It looks, oh, it looks so cute. It looks like this. Wow, it looks very, very good. I don't think I got any of the cream cheese. <laughs> mm. It's good, it's very subtle. I'm surprised I don't hate it because I don't, I'm not a huge fan of cream cheese. Maybe this whole video is telling me to be a little bit more adventurous and just try things that I think that I'm not gonna like. <laughs> Okay, let's switch it up a little bit and I'm going to read a autumn tag. So these are actual questions that I get to answer. Do you say autumn or fall? I actually say both of them interchangeably. Sometimes I'll say autumn, sometimes I'll say fall, but I do feel it kind of depends on the syntax or the the context of what I'm trying to say. I think most of the time I do say fall, but I type autumn more. I don't know because in Korea when I was learning words in English, you learn it as autumn, but then when I am in the US, most of the people here say fall, so I don't know. I just say it interchangeably. Favorite autumn accessory? Hmm. 
either any sort of boots. I love boots. I have so many of them. Knee high boots, thigh high boots, ankle booties. I have everything. So I love shoes, but I also really enjoy wearing scarves because they're just so warm and oh, like so fluffy and cushiony. I love wearing scarves in the winter or the fall. I don't know. I, I'd be very much stuck between those two. Favorite autumn scent. Anything that says like campfire or firewood, I'm a huge fan of those types of scents. But I also really love vanilla scents or a little bit more on the sugary coffee side. I'm not a huge fan of like fur or like tree scents, you know what I'm saying? Like Christmas scents that's like very specifically named after a tree. <laughs> it's, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of those kind of scents, but I really love the fire related scents and vanilla scents. Favorite autumn drink slash food. I think favorite drink would be hot chocolate. I really love my mochas and hot chocolate, so it's just such a foolproof option for me. If I don't know what I want, I'd be happy with the hot chocolate. <laughs> for food, I love, I love mashed potatoes. I don't know what it is about mashed potatoes and gravy, but those two oh, are like my comfort food. I love it so much and it reminds me of family gatherings because obviously Thanksgiving. Okay, now we're gonna try the pumpkin scone. This is such a pretty, pretty scone. Wow, it is, it looks almost fake. <laughs> okay, that wasn't a good idea. It looks like this. <laughs> Let's try it. That is very cinnamony. Obviously because it's a scone, it's more dense than the pumpkin muffin. I don't think I would get it again, but it's pretty good. Favorite autumn activity. I think my favorite autumn activity is going glamping. I haven't ever been camping before because my childhood didn't really involve a lot of family outings. <laughs> I really like glamping. We have this little place in Shenandoah, which is pretty relatively close to our region. And they have these getaway houses that we like to do every fall. Charlie and I and Romper, we take him with us. And it is so, so fun and so relaxing. I love going there. We've been there twice already and once was in the summer and once was in the fall, but I 100% recommend it for the fall and winter season because it is just so romantic. It's hands down my favorite thing to do in the fall. I'm gonna go give this scone to Charlie because <laughs> I cannot eat all of this. Okay, I am back. I think out of all of the drinks, I really actually enjoyed the cream pumpkin cold brew out of everything that we tried today. Okay, lastly, let's do one more this or that. Pouring rain or calm and cold. Calm and cold all the way. I do not like rain at all. Rain just makes me super depressed and it's like so gloomy. I hate getting wet outside when we're like trying to go to places. It's just... I don't like it. <laughs> I really like when the night or the morning is just like super calm and relaxing and cool with crisp air. It's just, ugh. I wish it would be like that all year round. Full moon or shooting stars. Ooh, I don't think I've ever witnessed shooting stars before. I've never seen it in my life. So that would be really cool. But I do also really like the full moon. I think it looks very mysterious. I am a sucker for stars, so I'm gonna say shooting stars. <laughs> hot chocolate or hot pumpkin spice? Hot chocolate. Romantic music or nostalgic music? I would say nostalgic because I really like to reminisce. I love keeping 
memoirs. I have a really huge sentimental, I don't know, like personality, if that makes sense. Scrapbooking or painting? I would say painting. I don't do either of those things, but I probably would do painting more than scrapbooking. Never really got into scrapbooking because it's just a lot of work. <laughs> and I'm a perfectionist, so once I do something, if I glued something down, I'm like, uh, what if I wanna change it, you know, so. Spooky film or animated film? Spooky, for sure. S'mores or pie? S'mores. S'mores are just so fun. <laughs> October or November? That's hard. <laughs> I want to say November because it's closer to Christmas and the weather is just a lot cooler. But at the same time, I feel like October is that sweet spot where the temperature isn't too low, where it's like super, super cold for you to like go outside. And I think you can enjoy more things in October weather. So that's a tricky one. I'm going to hold off on answering that one because that's hard. <laughs> And that is everything. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I hope this was fun and you got to know me a little bit better while diving into this new autumn season. So super, super excited for all the videos to come. I can't wait to talk to you guys in the comments below. And lastly, if you want to help me grow my channel, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay classy and stay cozy. And I'll see you guys again soon in my next video. Oh, I don't feel how I used to.